face that this world has forgotten. Hmm. What is up, you guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to another episode of Who Was Really Better. Now, this week we're going to tackle a matchup that I actually wanted to cover very early on, Tabafini versus Primarina in Generation 7, but decided to actually withhold this episode till actually Ultra Sun and Moon was out, mainly because of the moves involved with that game and what, of course, these Pokemon got to use with that in mind, because these Pokemon are definitely on top of one another, not only do they share the typing, but they're both great offensive, bulkier water fairy type combination, and this is only a combination that has been revisited once in a Sumerian Generation 6, of course, and uh, never be never been specially orientated, so they really cover the same track, and it's up to me to go over there, of course, stats, ability, and move pool, and overall to see which one of these two really are the defining Generation 7 Fairy Water type. Before we go into them individually, I just want to talk about the type combination itself because it's one of the better defensive typing of a recent generation. We have Immunity in Dragon, Resist, Bug, Dark, Fighting, Fire, Ice and Water and this is a very, very strong combination and only weak to actually the likes of Electric, Grass and Poison. So the water typing aren't necessarily being resolved by anything but having a fairy typing but the fairy typing does lose its weakness to steel making only poison its primary weakness but overall it's a very good defensive type and being able to actually wall out the likes of a dark and fighting combination which are fairly common is a very very strong edge definitely forces a few matchups to resolve to other attacking moves to be able to actually dent these combination of pokemons so with that said we're gonna call of course the pokemon introduced first being Primarina. Interestingly enough, when it comes to Primarina, it's actually one of those really, really interesting starter Pokemon because it was from the get-go famous for being not necessarily that speedy, so a lot of people, including myself, definitely think that this Pokemon is definitely not going to be a Pokemon we're talking about because it's slow. Man, were we wrong, and we were dead wrong. Primarina has resolved a lot of issues, even though it is slower than your average Pokemon. One really to take consideration that the Water Fairy combination does defensively resolve a lot of situations, making it able to force itself to actually rely on its bulk, which it does pack. We have 18, and of course it's HP, 74 in defense and attack. Special attack, fairly high here, whereas we're peak, pretty much like Guard of War, with 126 in special attack and 116 in its special defense. While its speed is low at 60, it still is a speedier wall breaker and it definitely has a few things brought to the table but overall very very tanky and a very decent bulk indeed and a very high special attack makes this a very very threatening Pokemon to be forced to be dealing with. However, when it comes to its abilities, as of this video, Liquid Voice hasn't been released. But I'm going to cover it quickly because I really hope that move actually gets available in the near future. A Liquid Voice basically works like Pixelate and Refrigerate and whatnot, where you get a boost to normal moves and becomes actually water. The boost is roughly 20%, and being able to spam Hyper Voice with um, this Pokemon will be very interesting because it will become one of the more dangerous water spammers in the game due to this very reason alone, but as stated, it is not released, so we can't really go over it all too much, and it's not actually relevant for this mashup dialogue anyway. The other one is actually Torrent, and Torrent, of course, boosts your special attack by 50%, or your water stab by 50% when your HP is below 33% or red. So, a very viable one, and consider how bulky this Pokemon is, and retaliating, it is able to capitalize on that ability pretty flawlessly, actually. Now, one thing that is exciting, however, about Primarina is actually its move pool, because it covers a very high offensive move pool, but also have a very good supporting set to be able to enhance that special attacking set. So, with that said, we have first and foremost Aqua Jet, which is a priority move, Always relevant that priority move more towards in lead, but always, you know, in general, priority is a strong thing to have. Encore, being able to lock in more slower Pokemon is always going to be a good thing. Hydro Pump, I don't think I need to say anything there. Hard hitting move, if anything. Uh, Misty Train, yeah, not the most reliable one, but at the same time, it does get Misty Train, which works like Safeguard and nullify even more Dragon output damage. So, all in all, you know, it gets it, so it's fine by default. Hyper Voice, 
It's more intuitive to Liquid Voice, so until that is released, Hyper Voice is irrelevant, but it does get it, so it naturally has that covered already. Moonblast is your bread and butter when it comes to Fairy Stab. Psychic works really well against Poison type. Ice Beam against Pesky Water types, I was going to say, but of course I meant the Grass type. Work Up, it is its only setup move, however, it does get some kind of setup, which always works with the likes of Encore, so it's worth keeping in mind that it does get it. Energy Ball, Probably one of the few grass types that actually get a proper a grass move of anything, and that's always going to be a good thing because that means that you can hit super effectively against other water types, and that's always a strong niche to have. And it really helps that you know this is something that probably pretty much auxiliary only had till now, so it's very good to see that pre marina can cover that. Uh, skull it works really well with assault vest, you know, getting the burn pretty much makes sure that you actually defensively shakes anything that comes in. Acrobatics. Um, it is a move that I would say is kind of niche, but it does get it and it does hit super effectively against like grass types if you don't want to cover the lines of Ice Beam. So it has a good niche going on, of course, a loss of item, it has a strong, you know, one of the base power, so it's it's good. It's definitely up there. Uh, Psych Up is your only means of recovery with Normalium C. Uh, it's worth capitalizing on, but at the same time, it is a niche move. However, it is its only way of recovery. Surf, yeah, it's basically the more accurate uh, Hydro Pump, I guess. Magic Coat, which is something that's always going to be useful to get, actually send back Toxic and whatnot against your opponent. Nice Wind, yeah, lowering the speed of a proper opponent that comes in on switching and be able to outspeed him. That makes Pre Marina very, very, very dangerous. Uh, Pre Marina as a whole, as a set, works in three tantrums. We have the Spec set, which is always good, always speedy. Assault Vest set, which also is usually speedier. Uh, mainly because of Ice Wind of Mine, and of course the Life Orb set that tend to be a bit more on the bulkier side or a leftover set, so they work in tantrum with one another. But as a whole, it is usually covering to wall break and be able to hit something hard really, really, really well. So overall, I would say the Pre Marina is one of the key wall breakers in Generation 7. However, it is whether or not that wall breaking capabilities is on par with the legendary that is Tapu Fini. So Tapafini has a different exchange in its stats, while they remain roughly the same bulk, which is that Tapafini represents 17 in its HP, defense is 1 in 15, so definitely higher, and 1 in 30 in special defense, which is also higher, but not by a lot, considering because the HP is, after all, lower. Attack stats similar, 75 here, special attack is significantly lower at 95, so we're, we're lacking roughly 30 base power in special attack, making Fini definitely the weaker between these two. However, Tapu Fini is most certainly faster. 85 base speed, yeah, that is basically 35 base speed faster. And there are a lot of walls that you actually become speedier than making Fini a bit more interesting at that because while it isn't as offensively capable it is defensively more able to shake threats and of course with the speed in mind able to also switch in against certain matchup and force out which is something pre marina necessarily can't however pre marina still hits harder and has variants of sets that make it possibly better but overall it's definitely more defensively than pre marina but lacks defensive capability of pulling that off but when it comes to ability, things start to change a little bit here, because Fini has an edge here, I would say. Misty Surge, being able to actually cause Misty Train on switching, is a tremendous perk to have, basically nullifying any type of um, status against you, and of course against your opposing Pokemon, and lower the attack power of Dragon Stabs. That said though, it means that you actually can preserve your bulk, if anything, because it means you can't be toxic at all while Mr. Train is active, which is, like I said here, definitely an edge it has over Primarina. But much like Primarina, Tabu Fini's interest really lies in its move pool, and it's a vast one at that. Because Fini's move pool is a bit broader than Primarina's move pool, while Primarina is very, very specific what it can do. Tabafina has a more broad and successful move, I would say, in Hydro Pump still there, Mean Lock being able to actually lock in potential Pokemon, Haze, yeah, that means you can set up against, Defog, as usual, really, hazard removal are always relevant, Nature Madness works like Super Fang, basically that means that you lower your opponent's Pokemon's HP by 50%, no matter where it is, Misty Drain, I don't need to explain that, uh, Moonblast is prim your premier 
stab in a fairy stab if anything so always relevant such as higher pump already call mind yeah this is a stronger setup move than woke up and while primary not only gets call mind as its uh, offensive setup move it still is a good one at that because it means that your low special attack really can go up a little bit more and also means that since you can't be toxic stalled with your enemies to train that you can set up freely uh, taunt, yeah, that means a Pokemon that after a train that want to toxic you or paralyze you can be taunted and therefore not able to actually do anything towards you. Ice Beam, same as the name Primarina, Wosie is a grass type. Shadow Ball, decent coverage. It is not a psychic, I tell you that. Nature Power, in case you want the normal stab over the. Um, the Moonblast that was one of the Fairy Stab, that means the Nature Power and Tantrum with Mistrain will create Moonblast or Tri Attack. Grass Nod, yeah, that's not an energy ball, however, it does get a Grass Filler and that's always a good thing uh, because of the likes of the Pokemon that are heavier in mind and overall, it's good to have Grass coverage to be able to deal with other offensive or scarier water types. Psych Up is for the same reason as Primarina here, this is your only type of recovery with Normalium C. Smart Strike, decent coverage, 75 in attack is not as scary, but it is able to hit very hard against potential fair type surf basically the more accurate higher pump knockoff very strong filler move because it means you can knock off an item which means that you actually can predict switch outs and you should usually go just for the knockoff to actually be able to nullify them magic code same reason really as uh, primarina being able to bounce back whatever comes your way icy wind now with a speedier variant of tabafini i would say that icy wind is less important however it does get it Iron Defense, yeah, that's the second setup move and defensive one at that. You can actually go dual Iron Defense and Call Mine and become a defensive beast, which is something Fini is really, really well of doing. Just great. They get Reserve and Moonblast. You are pretty much set to go. You don't need the filler moves necessarily. The only thing that does well, you have the likes of Toxic Packs and whatnot. But overall, I would say Fini has a lot of good things going on. The setup move in Call Mine really does help. Yeah, usually, when it comes to leagues and smoker plays, it is forced to be a defogger, but it's a very defensive defogger with, of course, haze in mind. And, you know, Nature Madness, Surf, Scald. There are a lot of variants of this Pokemon going on. and they all tend to be roughly the same that is that they are able to keep hazards off the field at the same time that they are pressuring pokemon due to its defensive capabilities so what this dialogue really boils down to is whether or not primarina special attack and special variants is better than tapu fini and uh, i definitely say that primarina had it had calm mind it would have had a chance to actually deal with Tapu Fini as it is today, and I'm really unfortunately I should say, and it shouldn't come to surprise the end one. The ability on Fini really is what is settling it here, and I'm not going to like beat around the bush with this one. Mystic Rain is such a factor here. Having Mystic Surge really just brings it to another level. While Pre Marina is a very, very scary threat, and as I stated before, its special attack is fairly high. I don't believe this type of combination, which is very good defensively, need to necessarily be speedy, which means that I don't believe Tapufini's speed is all that relevant. But when it comes to possibly damage output, Tapufini is able to set up Call Mine, and after one Call Mine, not only is it bulk on a pre marina, it probably hits harder too, and it can be able to just keep going. And while pre marina has, I would say, the better move pool to actually hit harder, it is very clear that pre marina isn't able to use its poor bulk, I would say, defensively to be able to set up anything because it lacks setup, which is forcing it to capitalize on specs instead and making it very, very one dimensional. While Tabofini has the option to be so much more which overall makes it, in my opinion, the better between these two. So yeah, all in all, I would say that Ultra Sun and Moon really didn't give any one of these two a better move pool. If anything, Tapu Fini probably become a slightly better due to knockoff, but outside of that, Tapu Fini is already a pretty darn complete Pokemon, and I really was thinking it was unfortunate that Primarina didn't get new tools that it could be able to capitalize on. It only things it has here over Fini's Energy Ball, Aqua Tail, I was going to say, but it's Aqua Jet, and uh, of course, Lies of Encore, which honestly does make it interesting, but it doesn't make it better. And <laughs> that's where the base of balls down to. Tapu Fini 
Individually, it's really just that much better and it works a lot better in synergize with our different teams in mind. In any team, work with Fini basically because of what it covers. It is a defensive border type with Defog, and that's a very good thing to have considered the type combination. So, when it comes to league play and whatnot, yeah, Fini just knocks it out of the park and it is overall just better. So, with that said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode and join us next week for an episode that I've been longing for for a long time. So, enjoy.